Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to yet another episode here on Life Signatures Radio. We are talking about injecting meaning into your life and we've been building a foundation towards that. And I promise you that this is going to be quite a number of series, quite a number of episodes going in into this new series. I am excited about it and I want you to tell your friend, to tell a friend, to tell all your friends to tune in to Life Signatures Radio. If you have been subscribing, thank you so much. And uh, if this is the first time that you're listening to this, this is a daily podcast and we talk about life purpose, talk about productivity, we talk about resilience. And so you can share it uh, with as many people in your circles as possible. If it's blessing, it's going to bless them also. And back to the episode today, we're talking about injecting meaning into your life. And before we can talk about how exactly you can inject meaning into your life, we're going to take some kind of detours to find out How do we identify that we have meaning in life? How do we find out that we don't have meaning in life? And therefore, how can we start injecting purpose into our lives? So stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. subject of meaning in life, you know and you realize that it touches just about everybody, whether you are yellow, black, red or white, whether you are high born or low born, whether you're schooled or unschooled. Have you ever had this feeling that there is got to be more to life than what you're experiencing, than what you're living, than what, what you're seeing? I mean, I have very many times and sometimes this happens when you have just achieved a high. You wanted to buy the car and then the car comes and you're asking yourself, okay, is that all there is to life? You wanted to get married and then you get married and then you're asking yourself, is that all there is to life? I'm not saying that those things don't have meaning and don't have some kind of contribution to, towards meaning in life. They do. But why would our hearts always feel like there is something lacking or there's something missing even as we're doing it? I have very many times had this kind of feeling of, There's got to be more. And frankly, I do not know of a human being that doesn't have these kinds of feelings from time to time. We are all human and there is meaning that has been wired inside of us. We have this propensity to live our lives so that we can experience it in terms of fulfillment and in terms of real joy that comes from doing what our lives are supposed to be done in the first place. So even those of us who have discovered our purpose and we're in search of meaning, I mean, it's never really quenched. There is always that clarity, that need for clarity, that need to experience meaning in our lives. And so in the previous uh, episodes, we've already talked about this and we've introduced the subject matter and started going into it deeply. But uh, we've seen that um, life of meaning is central to everything we do, every single detail. Anything that is vibrant, behind it there is meaning. Anything that is successful, behind it there is meaning. The moment you remove meaning from the equation of anything that is successful, that is the moment that it starts dying. So if we, for any reason, lack meaning in life, then sooner or later, the disillusionment that I talked about in the previous series, the dissatisfaction, the lack of joy, they set in. Life is structured in such a way that all these things have to give us some kind of direction. It is structured in such a way that there will be no fulfillment without meaning. 
And of course, we can fill our days from morning to evening with activities. I talked about that yesterday. We are so good at that. In fact, we have invented quite a, a number of things to try and solve this problem of boredom. We do activities and after activities we have favorite pastimes. We join clubs, we, we have hobbies. <laughs> I'm telling you, this, they, whenever there is no meaning in life, all these activities do just end up being useless in the grand scheme of things. The, if there is no meaning, you cannot su- substitute uh, lack of meaning by joining a club, joining the Lions Club, joining the Rotary Club, joining Toastmasters, joining whatever it is. There's got to be meaning in life before we can do these activities. And that being said, there's got to be something that we can do whatever those feelings of disillusionment that I talked about come through when they come knocking at our doors and our hearts. These are signs that there is no meaning. The feelings do not discriminate gender, race, religion, creed, or even financial status. Meaning is just that. It is meaning. You don't get it by amassing stuff and by going through the motions of life. You don't get it by getting a degree and getting a master's and getting a PhD. You don't get it by getting married. You don't get it by starting a company. Probably you might, but I'm going out of myself. You get meaning in life by being effective doing what your life was meant to do, what you're supposed to do in the first place. So, from today, in the next four days, I'm going to talk about the signs of lack of meaning in your life. I know you already can identify some of them, and I'm just going to talk about four before we can go into the several ways that we can be able to start injecting life into our purpose, injecting meaning into our lives. How about we start by looking at what it looks like, what it feels like not to have meaning. In some of these things, you already know. When I talk about these things, you have already an idea why there is no meaning in your life or you already have that feeling. You might have that, had had that feeling in your life one way or another. And uh, we've already indicated that uh, there are some kind of hints that will tell you you are lacking purpose. So the first one that I'm going to talk about today, it's simple and it's straightforward. You might know that there is no meaning in your life or you might not know. But sometimes you feel, number one, dissatisfaction in life. And it doesn't mean that there is no sausage in your fridge, no airtime on your phone, no fuel in your car. I mean, it doesn't mean that there's no money in your bank account or money in your visa card or money in your mobile money. All those things might be available. There might be even relationships going on. But there is some dissatisfaction. You just feel like there's there's more to life than than what you've achieved. You've even achieved things. You've you've gone to school. You've graduated, right? You've had uh, these achievements after achievements. But you, at the moment you achieve something, there is that feeling that this this is not it. That is what I call dissatisfaction. You are generally dissatisfied with life. It doesn't mean you're a spoiled kid. It doesn't mean that you you are greedy or something. No, you are human. You are human and the human, the core of the existence of a human is to do life with meaning. In fact, the worst kind of punishment that you can be able to give someone is to do something that lacks meaning. Like I tell you to clean the floor when it's clean. They normally do that in this armed force. Okay, I'm, I'm kidding. But the, the punishment that they normally give people, you, you, you clean some place that it's already clean. Then you go and you tell the guy who told you to clean it that it's, it's clean. They tell you, clean it. There's no meaning in there. And sometimes that's how we end up doing our lives. We do a course, we finish the course, we've gotten a degree, we've graduated, and we feel like, ah, yeah, it was good, but but this gotta be, this gotta be something. Let me tell you, that feeling of dissatisfaction, it doesn't mean you're a bad person, it doesn't mean that you're a spoiled kid or something. It just means that there is meaning in life. It's like you need to groove with the meaning. The moment you get the your feet on the path of meaning, that dissatisfaction is replaced by something else. 
it is replaced by something else that can you cannot be paid enough to have it you cannot be paid enough to be satisfied you cannot be paid enough to be fulfilled but i'm just telling you that the moment especially the moment when you have achieved something and then immediately you feel dissatisfied you've gone and you have a sexual ex- escapade and the, immediately you feel dissatisfied you know what it's your spirit communicating to you that there's got to be more to life than that and that thing that is lacking that thing that you're looking for it is meaning it is not about the things we have life is not about jesus christ told us that life does not consist in the abundance of things that is not what life is all about life is about meaning it is about meaning you see bill gets having all that money that he is having and then he's starting foundations building foundations in education building foundations to help people in education and help people in in health and research and all that stuff he is looking for meaning i tell you you will be the most dissatisfied person on the face of the earth if you think that to get satisfaction is to achieve things acquire things and acquire power i mean it is one of the most useless lives to live a life that doesn't have meaning a life that doesn't have purpose it is about the impact that you are creating it is about the contribution that you are creating it is about the change that you are creating it is about the transformation that you are making you will never be paid enough by someone when you make a kid to smile you will never be paid enough today i've seen something full of vanity i tell you there is a governor of a particular county in kenya who went out there and he built a house for somebody and then it's just sickening they there is a, a bar that has been put there it's like some kind of advertisement saying that this house has been donated by whoever is whoever it's it's sickening Let me tell you that governor is not going to f- find fulfillment in doing that. The best way to do this thing is to do it for the sake of fulfillment, not for the sake of cloud, but this for the sake of transformation. In fact, the best way is when Jesus Christ said your left hand should not what your right hand is doing when you're giving. What am I saying? I am saying that things that are physical, tangible, these things might not necessarily be things that will give you fulfillment in life. you will after donating and going on the screen and taking your selfies posting it on social media i guarantee you when nobody is watching nobody is seeing your heart that heart of yours is dissatisfied because you did it for the sake of the accolades the likes for the sake of feeling good people you know seeing how powerful you are but what am i communicating at the end of the day the biggest sign one of the biggest signs of lack of meaning in life is that quiet thing when nobody is seeing you when you've already bought yourself the car and the house nothing wrong with that stuff and you go on your bed your new bed and you sleep on it and ah it feels so nice but then there's just just that niggling feeling that tells you man it's going to be more to life than that that is the dissatisfaction i am talking about it is indicating to you that you got to change some some stuff this disquiet might not might be there even when you have paid all your bills and taken all the vacations you desire it indicates that there is a lack of meaning so tomorrow we're going to look at another uh, test or another uh, indication that there is no meaning in your life but until then bye bye <laughs> Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.